TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Morning, folks. We have the uh, Dow Industrials down uh, 98. You get the Nasdaq off 23. S and P's are off 12. Gold contract uh, is up uh, a buck at 1181. We have silver flat at 1590. Platinum is uh, down nine bucks at 1099. Copper's flat at 267. You get light sweet crude down 47 cents at 60 dollars and 75 cents a barrel. Bonds, the 10-year flat 125.12. 30 year up 10 ticks, 150.21. King dollar up 260 ticks trading at 95.24. The euro is down 33 at 112, and the yen is up 16 at 123.57. Now, check it out, folks. When we start with the spy, what you're going to see out here is this. Your one day wonder on Wednesday is just that. Uh, what we did out here yesterday is this. Yesterday, you got over the June 4th downdraft, the June 4th downdraft in the SPY, the high out there was 211, 989. We had volume of 151 million shares. Yesterday, we went over that, we closed under that, and we did it with 73 million. That correlation, 50% lighter volume, folks, you don't see a lot. That is a major failure. That's the first part. Second part, what ends up happening today, you gap down. What that's going to give you on a weekly basis is going to set up uh, weekly failure also. So it, what you're going to have out here is that we're, we're at 210.45. This SPY still wants to make that run down at 204. We take a look at the NDX 100. Now, the NDX 100, folks, is turning into the actually the weakest indice. And what, what it, was, it showed its hand yesterday. And the way it showed its hands is this. The Qs went to 110.15. It couldn't even make the June 4th high, which was 110.48. Correlation-wise, we did 17 million shares versus 31 million. Bottom line, that gaps down. On a weekly basis, you're also going to have a failure. The IWM, this is the most surprising, actually, because the IWM just couldn't handle that high. It should have been able to bust out over the high. Bottom line, IWM is at 125.89. The IWM is still the strongest indice out there. If we go take a look at the gold, the gold contract, which we have with gold is this. They can't bang gold down. Uh, gold right now is flat, really. It's up a buck. You're at 1181. Bottom line, this had surged higher on the 10th, got into a price point of 1191. That's building cause to get up not only to the 1191, it's building cause to get to the 12. 32 area. Bonds. What do we have with the bond market? What we have with the bond market is this. Yesterday, you had a surge on price. That surge on price, however, didn't have the volume behind the move. So what you're going to see out here is this. The 10-year, yesterday we surged 1.4 million contracts, but that was going into 1.8. What I expect you're going to see out here today, you're still going to see some volume behind the move, yet you're not going to see any price movement. That still is an ABC structure on the way down. That is the 10 years in ABC structure on the way down, the 30 years in ABC structure on the way down. King dollar. Now, king dollar is what it's all about, folks, because king dollar is on a confirmed ABC down, a small one, that had broken the B point, broke it with volume on Wednesday. We went to 94.30. You did 82,000 contracts. Yesterday, it tried to get the higher price with 37,000. It failed. What you're going to see here is this. King Dollar wants to go after the swing low that was established here on the 14th of May. That swing low is 93.15. If we break it with volume, you're talking about a 90 to 88 dollar index. What is that going to do? That's going to put juice behind the commodity market, of course, and I suspect what it's going to do is keep selling pressure in the S&P. This 10-minute update, this 10 a.m. update is brought to you every day by EverBank. For more information on the products they offer, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN. Have a great day. Have a safe day. Look forward to speaking to you right here, Monday morning, 10 a.m.
today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. EverBank. Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now.